Peterborough, the music has been pumping for eight hours and shows no sign of stopping. This isn't your average night out. This is a free party. Those vehicles. 120 people are already partying and callers have reported that more are on the way. Police officers have criticised revellers at a raid on the Norfolk coast over the weekend. It started as a rave, it ended in a riot. But police say they will be pressing charges for breach of the peace, criminal damage and misuse of drugs. How do like police the police respond to these sort of raves then? Um, it depends. Depends on like if it's in a, like a scenic location or an area of natural beauty, they'll shut down it pretty hard. But if it's indoors as well, like private property, then they'll come down hard on it. But otherwise, they're generally just there to make sure no one fucking hurts themselves. I'm never rude to people going past. I'm never rude to police. You do get the odd dickhead who will say a comment. But um, generally, everybody's just there to have a good time, and so you want to prolong that for as long as possible. Getting angry and being antisocial means that your party's going to get shut down. These tactics are to provide a line and to es escort them and encourage them to go back to their vehicles and leave. Uh, at no stage was there anything other than that. There was no confrontation. Um, the majority of people, apart from the two that were arrested, did exactly that, got back in their vehicles and left. We've, we've, we've met coppers before. How beautiful. Um, they've said, yeah, no, we're not here in sort of intelligence gathering or such, we're here for the party. We've not had to sort of positively pol police this incident. Um, it has been sort of self controlled, so to speak. We create our own law and we self govern, so we can do what we want. We can take drugs as if we want to, we can do whatever. It's undeniable that a lot of people go there with the intention of making money from selling drugs. Ketamine, MDMA, cocaine, acid. Uh, recently researched chemicals like methadrone, uh, 2CI, 2CE, hallucinogenics, sort of new hallucinogenics, new speed-based and amphetamine-based chemicals, stuff like that. You have that choice if you want to go out and do what you want to do, there's the freedom to do it. Nobody's going to look down on you depending on what you've taken or what you've done. And there's also a sort of sense that if you are to get ridiculously messy, there's going to be somebody to look out for you. And what do you think the effect of what the vibe of a party is compared to a club night when everyone is on drugs like that rather than being drunk? Everybody's friendly, everybody's happy, there's no fights, there's no trouble. You talked about good vibes and all that, but a drug like ketamine, which is quite popular on the rave scene, isn't really that social, is it? No, and to be honest, I think ketamine is kind of ruining the rave scene a little bit. I think it's an awful drug, but each to their own. You see people walking around like zombies. Sometimes it's funny, but sometimes it kind of ruins it a little bit if everyone's doing it, but most of the time they're not. Like most people are quite interactive. Locals are furious at the mess that's been left here. What do you say to people who um, would say that you're being very antisocial with going to these sort of parties with the mess you make and with the noise disrupting people's sleep on a Sunday morning? I apologise. <laughs> but we don't mean to piss people off. Well, I would say there's been probably two parties that I've been to where bin bags haven't been given out and people haven't been told to clear up. I mean, quite often, towards the end of a party, the roof get turned off and so they will turn the tunes back on when you've cleaned up all the rubbish. Most of the free parties that I've been to, I've seen people in the morning when I'm feeling absolutely disgusting just walking by with a bin bag fucked, just off their face with a bin bag just thinking, anyone got anything to put in here? Anyone got anything to put in here? Almost as if it's a little fucking adventure for them. You know? um, and as for noise pollution, um, it, it all depends on location, really. Um, I mean, there are places where you can go where nobody will hear it for miles and miles and miles and miles.
I've been to a party before which was underneath the M1 in one of the, uh, like the bridgey alcove bits, so it was over a river or something. Um, and I was just looking around and I was just thinking, I can't see a single house for miles. The only thing that's going to hear us is someone driving very slowly with their window open going over. And even then they're going to hear us for, what, three seconds as long as it takes to get out of whatever. What's the appeal of going raving over going to like a club night? Um, for me, like a rave is kind of alternative. You don't get the shitty mainstream, like sheep, crappy club top 40 music. It's a much harder, faster version of the popular scene. Uh, you get hard trance, electro, hard tech. Um, slide trance, um, break beat, <laughs> which is my favourite. Jungle, bit of drum and bass here and there. So this is basically music that you wouldn't hear anywhere else then? No, you wouldn't hear any club or mainstream venue. What would you say to people that say that it's just a bunch of uh, pill heads then? People who are just out to do drugs? Oh, never mind that's media addicts. Like, media tell them that raving is bad, it's illegal, everyone's full of druggies that I'm just gonna fuck up their lives and it's not. You go, you talk to people and they've got steady jobs. I know you ravers that are lawyers, I know ravers that are um, paramedics, doctors. I know some ravers that are police as well. And they're there just the same reason you are, to enjoy the music. It's like, in the middle, give it yourselves right now. It's not all just dancing then, is it? No, no, no of course not. Um, imagine dancing in a big kind of huddle of people for eight hours, being a bit tiring. Like, half the party you spend kind of walking around, talking to people, just kind of like exploring. I like free partying because it's a very mysterious thing. Because on a Saturday night, instead of, uh, instead of saying, yeah, we'll just go to Rebs or yes, we'll just go to a on a certain club or whatever, it's you call up the line or you call up one of the lines. Which can sometimes take fucking forever. <laughs> um, and, then, and then you get in the car, <laughs> obviously. And it's almost like an adventure to get to it. It's almost like you kind of, you call it up, you think, okay, yeah, it's there, but how are we going to get there? By use of mobile telephones, uh, the internet, very much underground techniques, they um, corral their revelers who are going to go to that and all the organisers at various locations and they bring them all together at the last minute and then attack a site. I've thought many times that a big free party is like a one day festival. You've got people selling food, people selling drink, music, lights and just interesting people that you don't meet in everyday life. From a girl's point of view as well, there's a lot less of the whole when you go to a club, I've had it before, when just everybody thinks that you're a piece of meat and comes up and touches your bum and it's not very nice um, and you get a lot less of that. And if you do get it, it's quite easy to tell the person to fuck off and they will. If you're in a club and someone pushes you but the bouncer doesn't see, then you push him back and the bouncer does see, you get kicked out. At a party, someone starts a fight, then it will sort itself out pretty much. Would you say the raving is a community then? Yeah, very much so. Like I, I would, I would call say people that I've met raving, which I see maybe once a month, even sort of longer, uh, closer friends and people that I see every day. And there's definitely a community spirit about it because you're doing something. It's not for a greater good. That's the wrong terminology, but um, you're you're part of something bigger. Everybody's there for the same reason and they're there to go out and have a good time and see their friends listen to music. <laughs>